I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you test questions on finite series. Here is question number 3b. Express each of the following series in sigma notation. Use lower bound of 1 if not stated. The series given to us is 81 plus 27 plus 9 plus so on till 1 over 3. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now in this particular series, we are not aware of number of items. So one way is we can just write down the series and find the number of items. For example, uh, let me continue this series. We know it is 81 plus 27 plus 9. So in moving from 81 to 27, what are we doing? We are dividing by 3, right? So we are dividing by 3. And then again, we are dividing by 3. It is clearly a geometric series where each number is divided by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3 and then we get 3 divided by 3 which is 1 and then we get 1 over 3. So that gives us number of items and we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we say number of terms that is n is equal to 6 for us. So that is one way of doing it. Well, that was relatively a simpler question, you could do it. You should also know the general method of doing or finding the number of items. So let us do the general method now. Since we realize that 27 over 81 is equal to 1 over 3 and 9 over 27 is also 1 over 3, we say it is a geometric series, correct? In this geometric series, the first term A is 81 and R is 1 over 3. And we know in geometric series, nth term is A times R to the power of n minus 1. That helps to find the value of n, right? So the number of terms can be calculated from here. So we'll use this formula and evaluate. So the nth term is 1 over 3, so I'm writing 1 over 3 equals to a, the first term is 81, times r, which is 1 over 3, to the power of n minus 1. Now let us solve for n. So we get 1 over 3 will divide by 81, so it comes in the denominator, equals to 1 over 3 to the power of n minus 1. Well, this could be written as 1 over 3 to the power of 5, right? You know, 81 is 3 to the power of 4, and 3 is 3 to the power of 1. So when you add them, you get 1 over 3 to the power of 5. And so we know 1 over 3 equals uh, to the power of n minus 1 equals 1 over 3 to the power of 5. Correct? Now from here, since we have the same base, exponents should be equal. So 5 should be equal to n minus 1 or n is equal to 6. So we get the same answer, n equals to 6. Well, for some, this may look very tedious, but that's the method. If the question is simpler, then you could always do like that, right? Now the question is, how to write it in sigma notation, right? So sigma, as you remember, is this symbol. It is basically summation. We'll start with lower bound i equals to 1, and we know n is 6, so it'll go up to 6. But what comes here? This is what we need to still find out. Right, so this term, which is the general term of our series, can help us to fill in the space. So what we have here is that Tn is a times r to the power of n minus one. We know all the values now, right? So we could write Tn as a, which is the first term, 81, and r, which is one over three to the power of n minus 1, correct? So that could go here. Instead of n, we will write i. So that is that is how we could do it. Another way was we could just simplify this and take uh, minus 1 outside, right? but we'll prefer to use this. So what we can do here is we can write sigma notation with the help of this general expression as 81 times within bracket 1 over 3 to the power of i minus 1, right? So i minus 1. So that becomes the sigma notation for the given 
question. Do you understand? So that is how we could actually solve this question, right? So if i is equals to 1, the power will be 1 minus 1 is 0. So we'll get 81. Do you get that? If i is 2, then be 2 minus 1 is 1, 81 times 1 over 3, which is 27. So that is how you can check your result also. So at times it may be important to check result to be sure that it is correct, right? That is a critical part. You may sometimes get it wrong. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.